going to be fun. Today we're going to do some more of the funny we did that. Yesterday books we read Mr. Hoppy and Little Miss Fun. So we're going to read some more. Let's see, we're picking. Ta-da! Mr. Mischief. Let's start. Poor Mr. Happy had a tiring day. Rushing here and there, back again. People was hard at work. He was sad and he went into his house and sat down for a well earned rest on the kitchen chair. Then you know what happened? So this is Mr. Happy. He's going into his little house. It fell into bits! Bump went poor Mr. Happy. That's all I need. He said, I'd rather think that I have a visit from Mr. Miserable. He was right. So his chair fell into bits and pieces. Outside, Mr. Happy running away as a fast little, as a fast little mace would carry him. A little mischief. Mr. Mischief. Oh, Mr. Mischief, glorious mischief, he cried. I do so love it. And he ran giggling to the night. So this is Mr. Mischief. Looks creepy. The next morning, there was a knock at Mr. Greedy's front door. But he went to answer it, there was no one there. What? Was there? Was a box. Inside the box was a large cake with cream and the most delicious looking pink Mr. Greedy's eyes gleamed. He licked his lips and shut his eyes and opened the mouth and took a large bite. So this is Mr. Greedy. He's in Mr. and Mrs. Mr. Greedy's house. Ugh! The chocolate wasn't chocolate. It was mud! The cream inside wasn't cream. It was cotton! And the delicious looking piece wasn't icing either at all. It was toothpaste! Oh, that poor Mr. Greedy didn't get what he wanted. That was not all. The very same morning, Mr. Funny that discovered that someone had filled us out with mon glasses. Very sticky mon glasses. Can you guess who's who that Ben? So poor Mr. Funny. However, that same afternoon, Mr. Mischief did something that he would regret. He was walking along the woods, looking for mischief, when he came across a wizard. A fast asleep wizard. I know, giggled Mr. Mischief. I'll change the wizard's mold from an ordinary piece of wood, and he can't do any magic. <laughs> he grinned in the mischievous grin and crept quietly towards the slumbering wizard. So there's this wand right there. <laughs> Mischief reached carefully out of the out in size and <laughs> wizard's magic wand. But what he didn't know was the wizard's hand didn't be, be sized. Help! Shaking the wand in a high, shrill voice and awakened the wizard who turned size by mischief by his nose, which was extremely painful. <laughs> so the wand turned on. Let's go on by nod! cried Mr. Mischief. I know you are so and that your mischief who saw through Mr. Poor Happy's chair legs and then he could bake a rather unusual cake for poor Mr. Greedy. And he went on muscle out in poor Mr. Funny's hat. I've been hearing all about you, he added. Let go by nod cried Mr. Mischief again. Very well, said the wizard. But don't believe that you can get away with anything if Mischief is at that. And as he let go of Mr. Chief's nose, he got a hold of his magic wand and waved it. Beware, he said, and waved off. Silly wizard, was Mr. Chief. Can't you take a joke? And he went home. Silly wizard, he said again as he sat down in the kitchen. Bump! Silly, silly, silly wizard! growled Mr. Mischief, picking himself and him in this silly magic. And he made himself some porridge for supper. His chair fell apart. Hmm. Smiled Mr. Mischief, and he put a large spoonful of porridge in his mouth. Ah, right, somehow it turned to magic, which of course it was. The porridge had turned into sawdust. Ew. Oh, oh dear, sputtered Mr. Mischief. Perhaps I better not get quite up with so mischief in the future after all. And so he went upstairs. 
he slept in the bed, splosh, the bowl was, his bed was full of raspberry jam. Uh, oh dear, oh dear, sighed Mr. Misty. I think I definitely must go acquire some mischief in the future. And did you know something? So his bed was full with, um, strawberry jam. That day he was good as gold. The next day, the next day after that, it lasted a week. Then the old Mr. Mischief argued got the better of him. He just couldn't help himself. It was a Saturday night. He crept into Mr. Fuddy's house and he was fast asleep. Can you guess what he did? Oh, what a beautiful piece of Mr. Is he ready to go home? So he's gonna go home. He cut off half of Mr. Fuzzy's mustache. Isn't that terrible? Poor, poor Mr. Fuzzy. He's absolutely horrified when he woke up and he found out. But even that terrible piece of mischief is not the end of mischief's story. So, he, he lost the top of his mustache. Before you read this last page, just take a look out the window. Go on, you can't see a small little mischief figure anywhere about. Can you? Are you sure? And that was the end of Mr. Mischief. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video um, before the video ends. Because, um, um, we did a really long story, so.